In today's video we are going to review the new Titans of Cult release of Stanley Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. Hey everyone, great to see you back here on the channel. My name is Rob, this is The Movie Vault. If you're interested in seeing more content not featured here on the main channel, check out my Patreon and YouTube membership links in the description where there is eight plus hours of bonus content, full collection tours, all that sort of cool stuff over on Patreon. Let's get into this review. Okay guys, so as I said, this is the Titans of Cult release of Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange, the 1971 movie here. We get, uh, there's a nice steel book in here, really nice artwork on the steel book. We get two pin badges, which seems to be the thing with Titans of Cult. Uh, this is a 4K disc and I will mention, I am going to compare it to this Blu-ray version of A Clockwork Orange out of that red and black Kubrick box set that came a year or so ago. So we're gonna compare this 4K to this Blu-ray. Let's get into the comparison. So let's talk about the audio on the Titans of Cult version, guys. It's a DTS HD Master Audio 5.1 surround mix. Uh, same as the Blu-ray here, no difference. It's a nice mix, of course, like, you know, dialogue, uh, heavy scenes and stuff will all come through the center channel. You have that nice score that comes through the surrounds. It's a really nice 5.1 mix, no Dolby Atmos mix, but I kind of feel like the 5.1 DTS mix was good enough, so why mess with something that's not broken? So let's talk about the picture quality guys on the 4K of A Clockwork Orange. This is a 1.66 to 1 aspect ratio. So once again, you're getting their black bars left and right of your picture, slight uh, black bars to both sides there. Film grain is in there. It is nice, as I always say. You get up close and you can see it and you move away and it's not as obvious. It's in there. As far as I can see, they haven't done anything to remove it or anything like that. You wouldn't imagine they would mess with Kubrick's stuff in terms of grain removal or DNR or anything like that at all. There is some soft focus shots within the movie that's how it was shot there's nothing you can do about that now and um, they're in there and that's the way they are color grade on this one guys I really like it there is some uh, the reds and the blues really stand out greens and yellows I think kind of pop out as well on this color grade a uh, nice uh, color grade on the 4k we will compare it to this blu-ray here in a second let me just talk a little bit more uh, about the 4k picture here the details in the close-ups at the start of the movie where they attack the homeless man and um, there's the detail in in the close-ups there is really really great really good 4k disc here guys the slow motion attack where the guys are walking along the group are walking along the river uh, and Malcolm McDowell's character attacks the other tree um, in slow motion looks fantastic 4k looks great on that was a really that was a great standout scene for me in A Clockwork Orange. So let's get into the picture comparison guys. 4K versus Blu-ray A Clockwork Orange, two different releases here. So the first scene I've chosen up here is the milk bar at the start of the movie here. What you will see here, um, it's the same. I keep repeating myself guys over and over in these videos. The 4K has better color depth, color range. And as you compare that to the Blu-ray, you get a much brighter overall picture on the Blu-ray disc here. Next scene up is that river scene walking along where I mentioned uh, Malcolm McDowell's character attacks the other guys in slow motion. This is an interesting one because you will see here uh, on the Blu-ray disc, if you notice that brick wall over to the right hand side of the picture, it's really, really dark. And when we look at that compared to the 4K disc, the 4K has a much brighter look to it. So that's kind of an interesting uh, comparison there between the 4K and the Blu-ray on that scene. Next scene up I've chosen is Malcolm McDowell getting the treatment or whatever you want to call it with his eyes kind of clamped open and all that stuff. 4K picture quality here guys, the 4K disc looks much cooler and the Blu-ray in my opinion has better skin tones, um, more realistic looking skin tones compared to that 4K cooler looking colour grade on that scene in particular. Last scene up I've chosen here is towards the end of the movie where Malcolm McDowell is kind of sitting eating after he returns back to the house where he attacked somebody earlier on in the movie. The Blu-ray you will notice has a brighter color grade, color look to it than compared to the 4K but that's you know that's what we always expect with these things here and anyways so overall an interesting comparison between the 4K and the Blu-ray. So overall thoughts guys on the Titans of Cult clockwork orange 4k uh, picture quality here and the detail looks brilliant as compared to this old uh, well old as I say like a two-year-old kind of blu-ray from that Kubrick box set here the detail looks great and um, for me personally I feel this like is a mixed bag in terms of color grade it's as we've seen in the comparison there's the 4k is brighter than the 4k is darker and the 4k is like cooler and the blu-ray is more realistic with the skin tones especially in that scene it's a little bit of a mixed bag in terms of the color grade I don't know if they've clearly done something different with this compared to that blu-ray release but overall um, yeah 
detail and 4K quality looks good. Uh, if you prefer the color grade on that old Blu-ray, you may want to stick with this one. Just some final thoughts, guys, on A Clockwork Orange. I have had this movie for a very long time in the collection, pretty much since I started. I had the old uh, Kubrick collection DVD of A Clockwork Orange. Um, I've, I've only seen this movie three or four times. Uh, I will admit I'm not a huge fan of A Clockwork Orange. I'm just not a big fan of the dialogue. I think the dialogue is terrible in this. I don't like it at all. I don't like the slang and stuff like that that they use in the movie. Something about it rubbed me the wrong way uh, the first time I saw it. And as I said, I have watched it a couple of more times since. Um, I just cannot fully get on board with Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. Um, looks fantastic and all of that, but just, no, just not one for me, if I'm being honest, guys. But I was honest in the review here with the comparison for the Blu-ray to the 4K and all that sort of stuff. So um, that's my opinion on A Clockwork Orange, how it looks and sounds on 4K. I would love you guys to jump into the comments down below. Let me know, have you grabbed A Clockwork Orange on 4K, The Titans of Cult? Uh, have you grabbed the standard 4K? Let me know what you think. Um, what your comparison was with the Blu-ray and the 4K. Are you a fan of the movie? Does something about the movie put you off uh, like me? Uh, as I said, I'm still happy to have it in the collection. Um, it's a part of the 4K collection here, so happy to have that one in there. That's gonna do it for the video, guys. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that little bell there to get notified every time I post a new video. Be the first to watch. Jump in the comments, stay safe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.